morning guys and happy Monday. It's the 21st of June today um, and it is currently 20 past 10. I have been up since about half past seven. Um, I've just been like, sort of I woke up, got ready and then the van has actually gone in for some work. Um, so we took that over to the garage, got back, did a little bit of work. Um, I had to action a few things um pretty much urgently this morning so i did that and then made myself a cup of tea so i've got a super maca mint green tea by pucker if you are new here or you don't know i am obsessed with pucker teas they are amazing um and i used to have a super maca green uh, which is basically a green tea i think it's like it's got the maca in it i'm not 100 percent sure but um, I used to have it every morning and it's it was just a really good sort of like morning routine like wake up make my tea um, and a good thing about sort of like green tea or fruit tea or herbal teas is it, ta it takes a while to sort of like cool down so it's nice just to have that moment where you just you just have your tea and you collect your morning thoughts and you sort of contemplate the day and you just have that moment um, to just sit and think and, and drink your lovely tea. So, um, yesterday was Sunday, obviously, and I didn't I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I didn't eat particularly well. I had the same dinner I had the evening prior, which. If you watch Saturday's vlog, you'll know that it was, it was horrendously like unhealthy. We had uh, some salt and pepper chips from the Chinese and then some homemade veggie burgers. Um, I feel really sort of swollen this morning, uncomfortable, all the things that come along with eating high fat, high carb uh, food. So, yeah i'm not feeling like super down on myself or anything like that i'm just like um I, I would say i regret my decisions for the dinner that i had um purely for how i feel like today but you know there's nothing i can do to take it back i just have to make today as healthy as possible um so yeah i don't know what it is about the weekends i need to really I, re I need to really switch my weekends up a little bit because I think I've noticed a pattern that on the weekends I tend to just like not really care about my calorie goals so much. Um, the weekend that's coming up, it's my friend's wedding on Saturday. So I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm drinking and sort of like eating the lovely food that's provided and whatnot. So I think from the weekend after i'm gonna implement a new weekend plan or something maybe maybe set myself a goal maybe increase my calories over the weekend i'm not sure there's a reason why the weekend comes around and i am over calorie goal i can't remember the last time i had a weekend where i stuck to goal or made sure that i put everything in i sat I always set out with like such good intentions because Friday is my way in. So I have my way in and I like think about the week ahead and think, okay, I want to do this, this and this. And then I, I'm usually pretty good on Friday, but then Saturday comes around and I'm like, it kind of just goes out of the window. I don't know why that is. Does anybody else have that where there's like one or two days a week where they just really struggle to stick to the goal? Let me know in the comments if, if you're the same and if you've got any ideas for me to just to help me stick to my goals on a weekend. I'll think about it. So something needs to change because I can't, like Monday to Friday, I'm usually pretty like consistent and I try really hard and I, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've got this like this mental block about the weekend now. But anyway, I'm recognising it and I'm welcoming a change to it. So I suppose that's the most important thing here. Um, 
So for anybody who doesn't know, this week I'm going to try and eat out of my cupboards. I'm going to try not to buy any more groceries. Jim, when he went to the shop yesterday, uh, went to pick us up some burgers because we were going to have the same tea last night that we had on Saturday. And I really don't know his thinking for this, but he bought like a load more burgers. He got the Meatless Farm ones. Um, and he got these... Which look really yummy actually. These are the Morrison's plant-based Tex-Mex style vegetable burgers. Um, which sound really yummy. So we've got them. And there's also some frozen chicken burgers. So, I don't know. It didn't. It's not really got off to a great start because there's already more things in there. But it's fine. Um, so... I do need to pick up some almond milk at some point, um, but I do have, I think I have a full carton. Yeah, so it should be pretty good for today. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on in terms of food. I think, I think I really need to um, go through my cupboards and make a meal plan rather than just coming into the kitchen and on a whim sort of looking i think it's probably a good idea to to do that also millie got her dad some dark chocolate for father's day which i'm really happy about because we didn't have any chocolate so we have some to nibble on over the course of the week or two because it's two bars there so yeah, that was a bit of a ramble. I'm just trying to kind of update you since I didn't film yesterday, but yeah, not good. I'm not I'm not impressed with myself. I feel like I need to sort of like address this weekend situation, which I will, you know, I will do. Um and for the rest of the day, I've got a little bit of work I need to do. Mondays are usually my day off. They're the day that I try and sort of like just take off to, for myself. Um but I always end up doing something work related most days uh just the sort of life of a small business owner i suppose i have actually re yesterday i sat down and i thought okay i'm gonna try and implement a new sort of life work structure just to try and like make things a little bit more manageable because um i don't really have sort of set days to do set work and stuff i just try and do it every day but i a lot of the time become very easily overwhelmed with situations so it's not a smart idea just to kind of like aimlessly work and not really have any structure to it because it when I do that it doesn't matter if I've spent all day working or I've got everything done on my to-do list I kind of feel like there's a niggle that something else needs to be done or that I'm not doing something that I should be doing so I think this new sort of like structure um will hopefully bring a lot more peace to my existence and i won't feel i think it's i think it's where a lot of the anxiety and stress kind of stem, stems from so i'm hoping that with my new schedule i should feel more at ease fingers crossed um but yeah i'm gonna go drink my tea i'm gonna sort of like sit down and note down a couple of meals that I think right off the bat, yeah, I can make them. Um, and then I'm gonna come and sort of like try and put a meal plan together. Um, but happy Monday, guys. So it's 11 and I'm feeling a little bit hungry now. So I'm gonna make myself one of the Cross and Blackwell's winter vegetable soups for like a brunch. So here is my soup, which is 256 calories. 38.4 grams of carbs, 6.8 grams of fat, and 7.6 grams of protein. So I've been having a little route around in the cupboards, and I think I've come up with what we're going to have for t at least tonight's tea. Um, so I found this, which is a Schwartz slow cooker chicken curry um, mix. Now, I must have bought this a long time ago, because um, I'm vegetarian now, I don't eat chicken, but however, like I've just looked at the ingredients and there's nothing in this that's like meat related at all. Um, it's just like coriander, garlic powder, turmeric, uh, crushed chilies, 
yeah, there's not there's nothing in here that a, veg, per, a person who was a vegetarian couldn't eat. Um, I bought it on clearance. I think that's a co-op clearance sticker for 50p. Um, it's still well in date, so I'm gonna use this, um, and I'm gonna make. A, well, I'm gonna try. I've never made this before, so I've got no idea what it's gonna turn out like. But I've got a bag of Jersey Royal potatoes. And I have some organic tofu. The box is like, I've pulled it apart because in the inside of the box there's like a, a recipe. So I'm just reading that, trying to get some ideas, but here's the tofu. Looks quite disgusting actually, doesn't it? Um, but it's marinated in infused with uh, tamarind and exotic spices. So it should be nice. Should be good. hopefully go well. And then also I had a bit of a route around in the freezer because I don't have any fresh vegetables. Um, I have a bag of frozen uh, green beans, some peas, and I had no idea I had this, but I've got some frozen peppers. So I'm gonna, I don't know, should I do this in the slow cooker? Maybe I should. I get my, my plan was just to follow the directions. Um, oh, you need to turn it up tomatoes. So the, the recipe requires an onion, pepper, potatoes, chicken, chopped tomatoes, and fresh spinach. Um, I'm replacing the chicken with tofu, obviously, and then I'm just changing a couple of the uh, the vegetables over. I've got a tin of chopped tomatoes, so that's good. Pop them in. Um, I think I'm going to throw it all in the slow cooker and just, well, minus the tofu, because I think this tofu, um, I don't know if it's fair. I don't know what the idea of this is. I think this needs to be cooked. Uh, like in a pan, like in a frying pan. So I think what I'll do is I'll put all the other ingredients into the slow cooker, cook that, and then however long this takes to cook, like say if it's 10 minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes before I want to serve it, I'll just fry it off and then add it in. That's the plan. Uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna do the calories either. I suppose I'll just have to input everything separately. I think that's the best way. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm gonna have a look around and try and try and plan for the rest of the meals. Uh, Cause I really wanna make a good thing of this. I don't want it to be a complete flop. So I feel like preparation is key. So hopefully I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go put all that into a slow cooker. Please pray for me that this tastes good and it's not gonna be a complete disaster. So I'm pretty certain that I have the sort of like weekly meal plan all planned out and that wasn't too difficult. What I did was I just got everything like that could sort of like make main meals like the mints and stuff like that and then things like this like the collie rice and um have a little look at what tinned stuff I had and vegetables and I kind of like laid it out and was like right okay what are the most obvious meals here um so I've got tonight's meal is a vegetable tofu curry um, I've got no idea how that's going to turn out, but I'm sure it'll be edible and, and somewhat tasty, so we'll see. Um, but I think I'm going to have that alongside some uh, rice, which I've got there. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to have a veggie chilli. So, I obviously have this organic soya mints, which I got from Acado, and this makes 10 to 12 portions of like a minced meat alternative type thing and it's you just rehydrate it basically so i'm gonna make a chili and in the chili i am going to put some 
mushrooms on oh, yeah some mushrooms I've got like a couple of tins of tomatoes but you just need one uh, tin of chopped tomatoes I've also got this I don't know why I've got this because I usually just make my own uh, chili seasoning but I have a Aldo Paso seasoning and it says suitable vegetarians on the back so that's great so I'm going to use this to season um, what else goes into a chili oh yeah I've got a tin of mixed beans um, I have an onion I have a couple of like have some frozen peppers so I'm gonna try and bulk it out with a lot of uh, the frozen vegetables that I've got and then again I can either have it with some collie rice or some normal rice over there and then on Wednesday I've put down lentil slash sausage casserole um so i haven't really got that super sort of outlined but i have this i have this hearty chickpea tagine so if on wednesday i'm not feeling up to sort of like making a whole like lentil dali type thing um i can use this but i have a pack of linda mccartney sausages in the freezer and i wanted to do something with them and i thought like a beanie lentily sausage casserole sounded good so I'm gonna try and find some kind of recipe between now and then but I've got a load of red lentils over there I've got uh, some green lentils um, I have more sort of like tinned tomato type things uh, I have a little tin of coconut milk so I can kind of whip up some kind of lentil dal and then I'm thinking if I cook the sausages and then put them in that would be really nice we'll see and then on when that was Wednesday wasn't it on Thursday I'm gonna use the frozen stir-fry vegetable mix that I've got and I do actually have I'll show you already in the freezer I have Linda McCartney's Vegetarian Shredded Hosey and Duck and I also have uh, the Lazy Vegan Chicken Style Pieces so I can sort of see what Jim fancies more whether he wants the duck or the chicken these are the sausages by the way they're really yummy and um, yeah so that is Thursday's dinner and then on Friday, like I showed you earlier, we have we have a few varieties of vegetarian burgers. Um, Jim sometimes does this when he goes to pick something up from the supermarket. If the item isn't already that, if what we sort of like pre-discussed isn't already there, he gets a bit overwhelmed. And I think, bless him, I think he's just trying to um, make the right decision and make me happy but in turn he just buys like 700 items so we have we have a couple of varieties of burger um, but Millie and Joe will be as, with us on Friday evening I also have some sweet potato fries in the freezer so I'm thinking we'll just have like veggie burger and fries for Friday's tea and that's it I'd, I don't think I need to buy any ingredients at all um, I mean most of the I'm gonna go through the chili sort of thing in my head and think do I need to add anything but I really don't think I do this recipe probably would benefit from some spinach but it's not like it's not like the be all and end all and it would be nice to have some fresh vegetables but I've set myself the challenge so I'm gonna try so I also did oh Jim's home I also did um, like wrote down potential snacks and potential desserts so I went through my freezer and just had a look at what was in there and I just wrote down everything that could be a potential snack so for snacks I've got eggs and salsa so that could be like scrambled eggs and I have um, a holy moly I think the brand is called uh, salsa pot so I could have could have them um, eggs in general are a great snack whether they'll like boil them up or scramble them or whatever um, I have a couple of cucumbers so I've just put like cucumber and salt 
Um, I also have this protein bread that I haven't opened yet and there's a couple of slices there. So if I need a snack, I could either have the sweet or savoury uh, bread. So I could have it with peanut butter and jelly. I could have some cucumber on the top. I could just have it with some dairy-free spread. I could have some scrambled eggs over the top. Um, I've got some dairy-free cheese, so I could make like a little dairy-free cheese and toast. So yeah, and then in terms of dessert, I have some dark chocolate already in the house, so a couple of squares of them. Um, I've got some sweet and salty popcorn, so I could do that. I could possibly bake a flapjack, or, and I've also got the Protein World mug cake. So yeah, plenty to be going on with, and um, hopefully won't have to buy any groceries this week. So it's 20 to 6, and we have just been to the gym for an hour and a half, so we're just back. I'll input uh, my workout stats here. And I'm just sort of like finishing up preparing tea. The vegetarian curry has been cooking up really lovely. I had a tiny little tin of coconut milk and I've added that and it tastes really good now. I'm very excited. So I think I'm gonna serve it with some uh, basmati rice. Jim has got some poppadoms because he wanted some with it. And poppadom. Pop uh, I'm not going to have any poppadoms though because I'm a good girl. No, you're not. Why am I not? <laughs> Just try it off. So, all I've got left to do really is cook the tofu and the rice. So, I'm going to get doing that and then I'm going to serve it some. Quite hungry now. So here is dinner, which is 745 calories, 92.1 grams of carbs, 19.4 grams of fat, and 33.3 grams of protein. So we've just finished having dinner, and both myself and Jim really did enjoy it. It was quite tasty, actually. Um, so day one of only using ingredients in the kitchen to cook with went really well. Hopefully for the rest of the week I'll have the same success. Um, so I've shown you everything in the vlog today that I've eaten. The only thing I'm going to have later is about 30 grams of the proper corn popcorn, um, which comes in at 129 calories, 19.3 uh, grams of carbs, 4.7 grams of fat and 3 grams of protein. So I'll just show you how I've got on with the day. Um, so I am 170 calories remaining, uh, 71 grams of protein remaining, 27 grams of fat remaining, and I'm over 69 grams of carbs. I'll just go ahead and complete my diary. So if every day was like today, in five weeks time I would weigh 13 stone, 9.7. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've liked it, please give me a thumbs up because it really does make me smile. And um, tomorrow is when I'm gonna drop off my laptop with the Apple Store to be sent away for the keyboard to be replaced. So I am still planning on filming, obviously, um, but I don't know what's gonna be in like what kind of context or anything like that because I'm not gonna have my usual software to use. So we'll see. Um, well, I'll figure it out. But <laughs> so until next time, stay happy, healthy and well. Bye.